Hello, Mark Satterfield here. Thanks so much for joining me. I want to talk today about where do we get ideas for growing our business. And one of the things I've noticed uh, over 30 years of doing this, and you know, I work in about mm, two to three dozen different niche industries. They all have one thing in common, which is that they're focused on the affluent marketplace. But what I've discovered is that people tend to be their business centric. And by that, what I mean is when they're looking for good ideas in terms of how to attract more wealthy clients, they tend to look at what others are doing who are in their field. So financial advisors look at financial advisors, luxury real estate looks at luxury real estate, concierge medicine looks at concierge medicine, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And you know, the the, the uh, you know that makes sense to a certain extent the big downside to it of course is it winds up being a lot of me too marketing and so from the prospective client standpoint this is one of the reasons why we all tend to you know, kind of sound alike um, so where where can we get good creative ideas and the answer is as you might guess looking outside of our industry but uh, again, keeping in mind that we all want to be focusing on the affluent market. So I, I got a suggestion for you today that uh, may be helpful. Uh, there's a uh, website out there, and I'm looking over here because I have it up on the screen, called privateclubmarketing.com. And uh, they do a really nice job about talking about different kinds of uh, marketing initiatives, and if you go to their site, which is you know privateclubmarketing.com, uh, you can look at their lead article, which is all about hospitality lessons, insights that private clubs can gain um, to uh, uh, to to grow their business. And you know, there's there's a lot of good ideas here that are applicable to uh, to people in lots of different uh, different industries. And I'll, I'll go into the some of these in uh, in more detail in some subsequent videos but uh, one of the things I do encourage you to do is to look outside of your industry for great ideas and uh, you know connected with that remembering you know what uh, you know Dan Kennedy said uh, you know way back uh, way back when you know don't discount something just because you know you're not in that business and Lord knows I made that mistake for years and years I remember Dan used to uh, have a lot of examples where there was a, a plumber who uh, Im implemented a really cool marketing uh, program that uh, took his plumbing business uh, to uh, to really unprecedented highs. And my immediate reaction was, well, this doesn't make any sense for me because I'm not a plumber. But I failed to think a little bit deeper and to think about, okay, what aspects of this could I apply? And it turned out there were actually a lot of them. So that was very short-sighted on, on my part. And uh, we certainly don't don't want to don't want to do that so anyway check out privateclubmarketing.com I'll talk about some of their stuff that they're they're publishing uh, in a little bit more detail uh, in some subsequent videos but uh, again the real takeaway that I want to impress upon you today is to don't restrict your uh, idea generation process to just what people are doing in your particular field look a bit a uh, bit uh, farther out and think to yourself okay this is interesting. How can I apply it to my particular particular business? So hope that uh, is helpful to you. Hope it gives you some good uh, good food for thought, if if nothing else. Uh, and as always, thank you so much for being a part of my community. If you know of other people who are trying to attract uh, affluent and wealthy clients, uh, please you know pass this along to them. It's uh, great for them. It's super karma for you. And yeah, of course, it's it's good for me. Uh, and if you're not a subscriber to my YouTube channel, please go ahead and do that. That way you'll get a little notification when I put new stuff up, which I do on a regular basis. All right. Uh, again, uh, good, uh, good to have you here. I'll be back at you soon with, uh, with something new. But until then, this is Mark Satterfield. Bye for now.